second and third quarters you play well most of the fourth quarter you play pretty well and then there at the end uh, a little bit of a show how do you sum up uh, the entirety of this game well obviously the the beginning of the game was was a struggle um, you know uh, and 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 Cindy came in uh, and gave us some good size. You know, she hadn't played in four games because we've been playing a lot of guard lineups. Um, but she came in, she had to get used to things. We played, actually, we played all three of our big freshmen um, in the first half. And, and, you know, I mean, you don't have to talk about it. The rotation's going to be different. The flow's going to be a little bit different. Wingett was doing a good job defensively. They were keeping us in front. Um, you know, not having Harris in particular, there was no real guy to break you down other than Bree. Um, but we weathered the storm. We got through the first half and kind of did okay there because we got down by 17 and then we cut it to seven. So we're kind of excited going into the half that we kind of mucked through the first half. The, the second half was, was great there when we got it to 50 to 50 50. Uh, we were getting some matchups we wanted. But then it just comes down to making layups and bunnies around the rim and not rebounding on the defensive end. And uh, and that for us, that becomes the outcome of the game. The fact that when we got it to 50-50, we don't make, we don't make little one-footers that we should, and then we don't keep them off the glass, particularly number 21. So there's obviously the built-in excuse, no Addison Bird, no Harris Price. You can use that, but for me, uh, some hustle kind of yeah. cost you at the end of the day, some second chance yeah. points. How do you try to correct that getting ready for next week? I mean, that's there's no drill for hustle. There's no drills in practice for effort. I mean, you can like run them and punish them, whatever, but you know, it's just a want to thing. We talk about it all the time. If you want to rebound, it's a want to thing. Yeah, you can box it out and you can work on drills, but um, to some degree, and, and were we fatigued at the end? I don't have any idea. I just think that Wingy was at home. They kind of saw it in their graphs. Uh, they wanted it a little bit more than we did, especially on their offensive end, getting offensive rebounds and second chance opportunities. And, uh, um, you know, it's going to have to be fixed. And as we build more depth, what, what the day did for us, um, like I said, I mean, we still had enough pieces that we can still win basketball games. Without those two guys, um, we had a game plan in place that gave us an opportunity down the stretch to win the game. And, uh, you know, but what it did is I think it's really going to – it made me play players that I haven't been playing. Gonna, it's, it's gonna help me as we go forward, plan LR next Wednesday and so forth to where um, we can go guard lineups, we can go bigs. Um, and I like what Sydney provided for us. You know, she's gotta make those bunnies around the rim if we're gonna throw it to her, but she was a big presence around the rim that we've never had at Carson Newman. And now we have it. So I just look as, as we go through these next few months of developing together and getting the chemistry right, getting healthy again. Uh, I mean, clearly we're gonna be a very dangerous basketball team going forward. You mentioned some of those individuals. You don't get the shooting efforts that I think you expected, but you're still able to get to the line. You still have some of those runs. What positives do you take away from their ability to battle back when they probably could have crumbled down 32-15? I mean, considering how bad we were shooting the basketball, um, the fact that we were able to create some turnovers in the first half out of the uh, out of the press and, and, and a few there in the second half, but um, not shooting the ball, well and seeing it go through the through the basket is an energy drainer it's very difficult uh and to see us get enough stops and to finally whether we get the free throw line or, or scoring whatever um and get the game back to to seven we were in the game at that point you know we had a chance to get blown out in the first half and we didn't and then we fought through the third quarter had great opportunities early you know those two layups early we missed in the third quarter was just backbreakers but it could have it could have put us into a tailspin but it didn't we fought back, got it to 50 50, you know, but then you get outscored, what, 17 8 uh, after that point. And, um, you know, it's a disappointing loss. And I am very disappointed as a head coach, there's no doubt, because I think it was a game that uh, um, would have been a great uplifter for us if we could have pulled off a victory over here. We hadn't won over here in a while, you know, and, uh, and to do it without those two guys would have been impressive, I think, uh, for our guys. But uh, nonetheless, there were some things, a lot of negatives, but there were some positives. There was some depth I felt like they got built. And um, uh, going forward, you know, I, I, I'm kind of excited to see how we can kind of start rotating in some, some little bit more size and, and play some more guys.